I believed her again. I thought she'd be there. I first thought that Cole might be gay when he was 17. My mom and I talked about it. My mom tried to tell me that it was a phase that she experimented before, but I knew I was gay. He did ask me if I was mad, and I said, no, absolutely not. I'll love you no matter what. I think she was disappointed because the first thing she said to me was I wanted grandchildren. I could still give her grandchildren. <laughs> I made her promise not to tell anyone. I never told anybody about it. Everybody knew before I did that he was gay. I think he's bisexual though. She went behind my back and she told everybody. Friends, her sister, who had told her child, who had told her best friend, and it just blew up from there. It's not okay for people to tell other people that I'm gay until I come out as gay. I wanted to tell people when I was ready, and my mother took that away from me. Well, so you confided in her something very, very sensitive, and it's not something you were ashamed of. This was a matter of timing, right? Yes. And she took that from you? Yep. And, and your grandmother didn't handle it well? No. And you didn't have a chance to talk her through that? and you felt violated. But that was consistent. I mean, this is what your aunt had been telling you all along, that this didn't shock you. No. You would have counseled him not to confide. Mm -hmm. Well, I have two things to say about that. One is, I'm very, very sorry. Thank you. And I really commend you for having the courage to step up and, and claim your identity and claim who you are. Um, And then for somebody to take that truth and that courage and crumple that up and, and throw it away is just horrible. I, I hate that for you, but I'm proud that you've accommodated to it. Thank you. The woman we're talking about is his mother, and you want to confront her. Um, so she's either behind that door or she's not. Uh, Deborah, come on out. Your mother said this morning at the hotel she was not going to do the show, uh, but she did get in the car and come over here because she said she would do it if she would um, have a private audience with me first. I'm sorry, but I, not one time in 16 years have I ever talked to a guest off camera. I don't do that for a variety of reasons. And I sure as hell not going to start with her. Because <laughs> I practice what I preach and I do not reward bad behavior. Uh, so she came over here and she said, okay, I will do the show. Then she got in the car and left. She just now got in a car. Doesn't surprise me. Pulled out the gate and is headed to the airport. Uh, knowing that we're in here having this conversation, that you're sitting in that chair, and that you have come here in a last ditch effort to heal your relationship with her. I believed her again. I thought she'd be there. <laughs> 